So what are we looking at here? Fucking Modi groin. <laughs> <laughs> Modi scrots, I'd call this. If I was a doctor. This, this looks like it yes. could be an armpit or a groin. What, what do you see, Will? I'm looking, I think I'm looking at a groin. Okay. Um, he needs a shave. Yeah. He, needs a tri- he needs a trimmer. That's the first thing I'd say if I was a doctor. I'd look at that and go, right, first things first, have a trimmer. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever they've got. They've that for lack of uh, yeah, that yeah. yeah. <laughs> So again, this is uh, tinea. So it's a dermatophyte infection, fungal infection, but presenting in a different body site. In this case, the groin. And the groin is like the, the it's, if you were a fungus, you wanted a part of the body to live in and thrive in. This is the, this is your dream. Yeah. It's sweaty. You've got skin folds against each other. It's just a perfect place to live. You, you're going to set up camp here, make your home and be happy as Larry. And you can see that it's got similar to the, the, the fungal infection we saw on the skin, the tinea corporis that we saw in the last few slides. It's still got some of the same features. You can see that inflamed edge there. It's still got that ring like appearance yeah. to it but it's in the groin. It's treated in a very similar way with antifungal creams. And this is, re- this is called jocks itch. That's the colloquial term because it's very, very common in, in younger men who are doing lots of sport and probably not showering as often as they should do. This year, say someone had this and then they trained, would, could it come out as ringworm somewhere else in the body? Or would you catch this and then get that on your groin. Does that make sense? But well, it can work both ways. Yeah, I mean, those so spores, if someone has this, yeah. spores are in there. And then and that could shed, cause... Shedding spores that could then infect someone on the skin, in which case they get the, the uh, ringworm on their on their skin, or it can infect the groin, it can infect other parts of the body, yeah. the scalp, the, the feet. It, yeah. It's so odd though, isn't it? Because like, you know, we've got people worried about ringworm, this and that, and you could just have some dirty git, just not sorting themselves out having a rash like that going on the mats and giving you ringworm and in the the club or the gym or everyone's trying to do fucking loads of stuff well someone could have this and not you and no, no, you'd know never know it. would yeah. you you'd never know yeah so this is why it's it's so important to 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 have that education in that in your gym where people feel comfortable the stigma's gone and they're able to kind of recognize this is there and get it sorted and and, and refrain from training while while they're that it's sorted out 